Hi guys. How is everybody today? Welcome. My name is Nancy Durstein. I am a yoga teacher and author of Motivational Yoga. And today I'm going to take you through five yoga tips to help you manage stress. So as anyone who's ever dealt with panic attacks, anxiety, any kind of stress can attest to, this becomes a constant companion in your body, in your mind, something that's very unwelcome, but something that kind of sticks with you from day to day and year to year. Some of us live with this our whole lives, but there's good news. Stress is cumulative, but so is relaxation. So we can learn how to relax. In fact, yoga practice brings our body, our mind, and our spirit together through physical practices, through breathing practices, and through meditation to help calm our mind. In fact, yoga is one of the best things that we can do for ourselves. We use it as a tool to manage everyday emotional issues. In fact, we often say, all your issues are in your tissues. Okay, so with this in mind, let's go on to the very first step. Very first tip here is to meet your mood. It simply means how do you feel right now? So identify how you feel. And this stuff is important for healing to begin because we need to have the awareness of what we're trying to do to either get rid of, solve it, or maybe accept this feeling. When we recognize how we Going, we're better able to understand what's needed to take care of ourselves in this moment. So in a sense, it's like we're taking over the driver's seat for ourselves, rather than allowing our emotions to drive us recklessly into a wall. You can't control what you don't recognize. So in this moment, I welcome you to just turn your attention inside, identify how you're feeling, and meet your mood. Now be honest with yourself. Don't try to run away from it or rename it. Just surrender. So this way we get very clear about what it is we're trying to accomplish today. For us to move forward, we need to know where we're starting from. Okay. Tip number two, breathe. You've heard this before. Just take a deep breath. It's true, and it's great advice. Take a deep breath. But when we're having anxiety, and maybe even a panic attack, it's very difficult to take a deep breath. So what happens is when we're feeling this way, this kind of kicks in our fight or flight response. So we're always feeling like we're in this panic mode. And what this does, that is if we're not being chased by a tiger or we're not in imminent danger, is it raises our heart rate, our blood pressure, and it makes us cloudy and confused. So what we want to do is release that. You get back to normal breathing, get back to normal heart rate, and a breathing rate, lower our blood pressure. And we can do this very quickly, even right now, with a, with a sigh. Do it again. Take a deep breath in. And just sigh it out. Feels pretty good. So as we exhale, we'll do this again, as we exhale, Exhale what no longer serves you. So if you have something in particular that you're stressing upon, maybe whatever's happening today or what happened a few weeks ago or even years ago, exhale out with intention. And sense those feelings leaving your body through your breath, either through your pores and through your good intention. That's the mind, the body, and the spirit. So we let them go completely so that we can maintain our inner strength. Got it? Good. Now, sit up nice and tall. Okay, none of this. Sit up nice and tall. Lift up through the crown of your head. And then gently close your eyes. Relax your eyelids. And notice your breathing. 
For most of us, once we start to notice our breathing, it feels awkward. And that's perfectly normal. It just feels like that. So notice if the breath is coming from the belly, a deep breath here, or maybe from the chest, maybe even from the nostrils. And that's where you feel the air coming in and out. Relax your shoulders. And with intentional breathing, inhaling through your nose, use a long, slow, deep breath, noticing your center. And notice if it expands once you fill the body with air. Exhale through your mouth, like a sigh. Do it again, inhale. Hold the breath in, exhale. And you can do this anytime that you're feeling a little too anxious. Just imagine your body is releasing all that no longer serves you. So after you do that, pause, even for a couple seconds, to feel the aliveness in the body and in the mind, and even this clarity of breath, because now maybe you're feeling the breath is even, even inhale and even exhale. Good job. Okay, on to number three, and that is to move. Yeah, that means moving your body any way you can. I'm shaking out a little bit. You can even slap around and just get that blood flowing. You don't have to have an hour yoga class or even go for a run. You don't have to lift the weights. You can just take a few minutes and bring the awareness from your mind, maybe even from your heart center, into your physical body. It gives your mind another place to go. It helps to also relieve some stuck energy within the body that we often feel after a long yoga class. So first, we're gonna take a, just a few minutes to feel this. So go ahead and put some, some real stress into the body. So this is a tense and release exercise that I often recommend right before you go to bed if you have trouble sleeping. Tense your whole body, so squeeze your arms in, make this with your hands, Squeeze your belly in, your legs, wherever you'd like to. Just bring the shoulders up to the ears, tighten your eyes there, hold the breath in, and then on exhale, let it go. Good. And you may feel that kind of juicy energy flowing around. Let's do it again. Bring it in. Tighten your hands here. Get everything up to the ears. Squeeze everything in as if you can't breathe. And then on exhale, Good. If you're like me and you feel like your shoulders have shot down about a half an inch, notice that. Okay. Lengthening upwards and opening up through the upper chest, releasing any tension in the belly as well. Now drop the chin to the chest. You can add a, a little bit of pressure into the back of the neck. Deepen the breath. Inhale, bring the head up. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Center, and right ear, right shoulder. And center, bring the arms all the way up to the ears. And we'll bring our hands together. So in our yoga class, we often bring our hands together just to set the intention. Our intention, of course, is to release our everyday stress that we're carrying around. So bring the attention here. Deep breath in. Good. And then release. So we're going to shake it out, like you pat your hands. This is called a rebounding practice, just to get back into the body, slapping your face, slap your thighs, and your back in. You can even tap your feet a bit. Back of the legs till you feel once again this tingly effect. You may feel warmth, it's energy moving around, blood flow moving around, pores are a little bit more open so that you can breathe in and let go. So you can do this in a chair or come to stand. So let's rise on up, get on your feet, and separate your feet a little bit. We're going to take something from the Kundalini school of yoga. 
And we're just going to move around a little bit into the hips. Make sure that your feet are planted to the ground and knees are, are nice and soft. So stay soft so you can stay open. None of this hardening stuff, looking up and walking. We don't want to walk, we want to feel the flow. Okay? So this is just a simple twist. right? And we're going to pat the opposite hand to the opposite shoulder as we exhale. And turn. And the other hand, the bottom hand is patting into the low back. We can do this for several minutes if you like this. Okay. I'm just showing you this for a few more breaths. Patting your shoulder and letting yourself know it's all going to be okay. You're taking care of it. And then shake it out. Interlace your hands behind you and pull back. So I'm going to come to the side here. Okay, tuck yourself in, lift up tall, bring your hands together and pull back and down. So there's a nice stretch in the upper chest. And as we do this, we're just going to simply waterfall ourselves forward into forward fold, dropping the head, shaking it out completely. Good. And then bend the knees, come on up, inhale to lift up and just let it go. Good. So nice shoulder opening there. Nice one to do in your chair if you're sitting around a computer all day. Pull those shoulders back. So coming back into standing pose here. Exhale. We're going to bend forward from the hips. So don't worry too much about form here today. We just want to feel any kind of stuck energy or tight muscles because they manifest all different ways. So come forward here, and we're going to round the spine. Just do a little cat cow around the spine, and feel the spreading here, the low back muscles. Inhale to lift the heart and lift the sit bones. Inhale to lift, and we'll do one more. Exhale. Good. And then just wave it all the way back up. Keep your feet planted on the ground. Back to the grounding, and we're just going to tap the feet out a little bit. Okay. A little foot stomping. Best to do without shoes on. So your toes and your heels. Again, feeling that wave of energy coming up your legs. Now, come back to the front of your mat. Interlace your hands once again. You can interlace on the opposite way, so if your left thumb was on top, keep your right thumb on top. Roll the shoulders back. And exhale, let's just waterfall down again. And this time, plant the, plant the hands. Right foot stays forward. Left foot comes back into a lunge or a warrior one. And with this, we want to open up the arms into this cactus arms. Open up, lift the heart. And then exhale. Squeeze it out to eradicate any kind of stress or old story you want to get rid of. Inhale to open to the sunshine and the air. Exhale. Do it again. One more. Good. Bring your hands behind you once again. Shoulders rolled. And exhale all the way down. Good. Draw the back leg down. It's going to lift up to lunge. Again, opening the heart up. And exhale. Flex your back leg, left foot. Front foot, back foot. Everything kind of turned on here through the feet, through our grounding. Come into this little splits exercise so that you can feel the back of the leg. Bring the foot all the way down now. And we'll step it forward from the pathway. And bounce it all the way back up. Bringing your hands to prayer. Setting that intention once again or Needing your mood once again. Inhale up. Exhale to fold, interlacing the hands, dropping the head. Good. And this time now, the right leg steps back. You rise up slowly, warrior one. Open those arms up. Stretching through the heart. Exhale. Bring it in. See if you can bring the arms together. Inhale to open. Exhale. Mouth can be open or closed with your exhale. Let's do one more. 
Good job. Bring your hands all the way down now. Back knee to the ground. Rise on up. Lunge it. So you may feel good stretch into the back quadricep. Notice that. Stay inside the body. And then exhale, pull it back. So you may want to curl the back toe underneath. Flexing through both feet. Drawing your forehead towards the knee or heart center towards the leg. And come back center. So I'm just going to transition back to the floor through downward dog because it's such a nice pose to stretch the entire back side of the body. And then back to seated. Good. Okay. One more before we stop the movement here. Just bring the arms all the way up in seated position. And on exhale, right hand to the left knee, or opposite hand, opposite knee for twist. We say that the, the spine is the highway to the brain, so our twist help clear that highway. When we're stressed, you know, it does feel like there's too much traffic there. Inhale up, exhale, opposite way. Take another breath, don't hold the breath. And then come back to center. Nice job. So close your eyes for just a moment and notice how you're feeling with that little bit of movement. It doesn't take much, as I said. Five minutes of uh, physical practice goes a very long way in yoga. Okay, on to number four, which is relax. You've had people tell you not only take a breath, but oh, come on, just relax. Well, as we know, it doesn't really work. You can't turn it on and turn it off that way, especially if you don't really know how to do it. Remember that relaxation is not a luxury. It's actually a practice that we do to take care of our well-being. So we have to learn how to do this. Relaxation, like stress, is cumulative, as I mentioned earlier. So when we relax, it helps us clear our minds so we can focus on what we need to do. It encourages positive thinking. We can concentrate better. We can remember things. Our memory is better. And even our decision-making processes are clearer. It also calms the fight or flight response, as you can well imagine. The more you do it, the better you get at it. But it's like any other muscle, you have to work at it. Okay, so let's practice relaxation. Sit in a chair or you can lie down, which is even better. Lie down on your back, any way you want to practice. And gently close your eyes. So go into your face, soften your face. Sometimes we have no idea how much stress we're holding in our face or other parts of the body. And that just starts to become normal and to feel normal. Like, I'm always like this. No, release it. You'll feel yourself letting go. Soften the eyelids, so allow them to be heavy. Relax the space right between your eyebrows and your forehead, where all those thinking thoughts come in and soften the jaw. Soften the neck and the throat center. A lot of stress comes in. Soften the shoulders and the shoulder blades and widen the breastbone a bit. Relax your arms and your fingers. And release your back to the ground. So if you're, if you're on the ground, let it melt. And if you're seated, just feel the wide muscles of the back loose. Soften the belly and the hips. Release your thighs and your calves, your ankles, your toes, tips of the toes and the soles of the feet. And 
let go. Feel that stress leaving your body through your pores, through your breath, welcoming the change to feel less tense and less stuck. This renewed sense of energy and light within your body. And finally, finding a calm and peaceful state of mind. And notice how that feels. Gently move your head from side to side. Open and close your hands. Roll your wrists around. You can, you know, wiggle your feet, your legs, and you can give yourself a little pat as we did earlier today. If you're in a reclining position, please roll to one side and come to seated. And notice how you feel. It's a very short relaxation practice, but you can build on that. Okay, our final and our fifth yoga tip for today to release everyday stress. So number five, and that is to clear. So you've done all this work to identify your stress, breathe it, breathe it correctly, get into the, the proper response here from your nervous system, moving the body, learning relaxation. Now we want to clear it all away. This is the best part as far as I'm concerned. So we let go of any lingering emotions here that kind of, they get stuck here for a while. So these shadow stories, these old guilt feelings, maybe grief and worry and current stresses, they do tend to get stuck for many of us in our mind and in our body. And we sort of become dedicated to this emotional state because we feel that's our home. Stress or anxiety might be our home. We get used to this feeling. So what happens is we end up pushing these feelings back in for years, maybe even a lifetime. So clearing helps us get rid of this with intention. Now there's a, an old saying that states, don't drive the tiger from the front door while letting the wolf in the back door. So you can go through all of these things and still push it back in. So in other words, you must remain present at this doorway of the mind. In fact, that's about the only thing that, that we can do. That's our greatest weapon against stress is the ability to choose one thought over another. So our final practice today is a breath practice called the 478 practice. It's another way of saying forceful exhalation or bigger exhalation. So you want to get rid of no longer serves us. But also take a big inhale and hold it in. So we're holding in that light and that energy, kind of drumming up all the negative stuff, and then exhaling it out. We inhale to a count of four. Hold the breath for seven, and exhale for eight. So you should recommend doing four of these breaths. Today, let's just do two. Okay, so I'll talk you through it. Exhale out completely. And then inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Return to your normal breath. Noticing maybe a you know, pleasant shift in consciousness. If so, enjoy the relief that it brings. These breathing practices don't take much time to feel that relief.
So that brings us to the end of my five yoga tips to help us manage stress. Please remember we can't control the events of the outside world, but we can control our reactions to them. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to say thank you to Human Kinetics for presenting this event. My name is Nancy Gerstein. I am the author of Motivational Yoga. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. <laughs>